Hi, I am Dr. Sejal, the general practitioner in Ideal Medical Center in Medex Healthcare. We are hearing a lot of news around us. We are seeing in the newspapers a lot of new words which is very commonly seen in last one month. Viral fevers, viral infections and lot of calculations and statistics about the death rate and all that. So here I am in front of you just to assure you is there any need to, bur to be worried at the moment. My answer would be no. Is there a need to be worried about it? The answer would be no. Why? So let's look into it. What is flu? Flu is, a, is just a short form of H influenza. Influenza is just nothing but a viral fever that is caused by H influenza virus. What we should understand is there are a lot of type of lot different types of viruses. To broadly classify it, it can be either the virulent virus, which is very aggressive and which needs an aggressive treatment. Another one is non-virulent virus, which needs treatment, which will take time. And the good news is, by God's grace, whatever we are seeing around us is caused by non-virulent virus, which can be treated or which can be prevented and the fatality rate can be reduced to the most minimum. So, you would ask me, will these viruses cause any problem? Yes, these viruses, as I told you, in some age groups or in some people, it can cause problems, especially in pediatrics, where the age group is very low, in small kids, as well as in geriatrics, the elderly ones. And also with people who have comorbidities as well as in people whose immune level is very low. What are the comorbidities uh, that are, what are the pe uh, people who are susceptible to this? It can be either people with diabetes mellitus, hypertension or other infections like fungal infections which will cause the immunity to come down. So the next question will be, doctor, how can we treat flu? The first and foremost step, what I would say is always prevention is better than cure. It is always better to prevent flu than to cure flu. So prevention would always be the best and the first option what I would suggest everyone for flu. Prevention, how can, uh, how can that be done? For prevention, it's just simple. It can be done at home. It can be done when you're outside. It can be done when you're in school. It can be done even in your office place. To prevent a virus to enter into your body, the only thing what you could do is just to wear a mask or to prevent the infection that is there in you to be spread to the next people. The first thing what you have to do is just to seal your open, uh, just to seal your mouth. So for which you can use a mask. The next thing and the most important thing is to hygiene or to maintain a good hygiene for your body. To maintain a good hygiene, as we all have seen or as we all know, to use a sanitizer, to use a soap, wash yourself very well in running water, wherever you are or whenever you feel that you have come in contact with a person who has infection. So how do you clean yourself? It's just simple. Go to the tap, open the tap in free flowing water, just wash your hands very well, rinse your face very well with soap as well as uh, any, uh, any savlone or Dettol, whatever is available over there. If those things are not available, it's always easy to carry a small sanitizer in your hand and to always sanitize the open spaces, the hands and your face. The next thing what we can do is when we are moving out of our house or when we are going to our office or when we are coming to our home from outside, the first thing to be done is to clean yourself, remove your clothes and put it in your washing machine so that it is like it is well sealed and the infection will not be spread to your even the most closest person in family as well as to another person who is outside. So these are few methods in which we can prevent you know, another person from getting flu from me as well as me getting a flu from another person who is infected. Next coming to another form of uh, prevention is by taking flu shots. 
So you can take H influenza flu shots that are easily available in all our clinics. Coming and taking a flu shot regularly, it's recommended once in a year would keep you away from very common viral fevers as well as that is caused by the influenza virus. Now, if you have a symptom of flu, the symptoms of flu would be just nose irritation, irritation in your nose, water or running nose, throat irritation, mild cough and a fever. In this case, what I would suggest you is, the moment you have any one of this symptom, you have to come to a doctor, get it evaluated and make sure that you are not having a disease which cannot be controlled or you are completely out of danger zone. That can be only assured by a doctor or a physician who is having good knowledge about viral infections. Self-medications and taking medications simply from a outside drugstore or something that is left at home will not be advisable at the moment since you will not be aware or you will not know what infection is there inside your body. Again, let me stress on the word that if it is a non-virulent virus, there is no need to be panicking. You just have to come to a doctor, get it treated properly, keep yourself away from spreading it to another person, keep yourself clean so that you know none of the infections from another person will come to you and you will be like kind of fully completely cured out of this. So let me just wind up by saying it is just a normal viral fever that is around us which can be easily cured or which can be easily treated and which can be easily controlled. There is no need for all of us to panic and run around. There is no need to spread rumors which is not which is not healthy and there is no need to do our self medications or experiment ourselves with different sources what we have at home and spread wrong information and misguide the normal people who trust in you. So let's not be misguided or let us not misguide anybody who really trusts us. We have the WHO, the World Health Organization giving us a lot of information and guidance on how to prevent viral infections as well as to treat viral infections. So let us follow it, let us be hand in hand in one accord with them to build a good herd of people happily living. So be happy, be healthy, God bless, thank you.